Doug, my wife, Salawon, with the gym master, Louisiana Saints, coming back at you with another pre-camp lesson. Prior to getting started, as we always do, we like to give infinite honors and prayers to the honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to the authors that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video be that clean to the body. And it's a day lesson. I was just uh meditating on the way that the Lord go call fire down from heaven and basically burn uh what you would know as America, which is Babylon, all right, in the scriptures, okay, and also that the Lord, the way that the Lord is gonna do it, all right, is gonna be historic, all right, because it's written first and foremost that he's gonna do it, and then once it comes to pass, all right, it's gonna be on a what another upper echelon, man. Because it was not only what it was written thousands of years ago, but it's gonna fulfill itself, man. All right. And the reason why the Lord need to see the fact to burn this earth, this current earth and the rulership thereof underneath it with fire is because it's a purification method, man. All right. Because the things here under the earth, the inhabitants of the earth, has been defiled. All right. Chiefly by what? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, going to Job 9 and 24. All right. Chiefly by who? The Edomites. All right, teaming, okay? Amalek, Amalek, man. All right, the grandson of Edom, Esau, Edom. All right, so the Lord have had a controversy with this devil from the beginning. All right, he had always waged war that he that he uh basically said he would wage war with Amalek from generation to generation, man. All right, and horrible is the, get that out? It's Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse 19. For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. So horrible is the end of an unrighteous generation, man. All right. The sword shall come down on Adumim, who is the light. All right. That sword. All right. When you go to Revelation, man, it's uh uh hellfire you're gonna get them, man. The uh, the elect saw uh America in a in a sea of glass with fire standing over it man all right so this fire is going to burn this phoenix slash eagle man all right give me uh if, but, yeah you can give me that sarah team and so we get i'm gonna get the word phoenix because i won't get it in the online etymology get phoenix in the online etymology you know what I'm talking about? get it because i won't uh basically bring out a point in it the elder basically bought it out last week and, and i had it but it didn't actually come out all right, when he referred to the when he was speaking about it, I actually went and looked at it and it got some great deep information in it. And it basically back up what he was saying, how the how the eagle represent the, the phoenix represents the eagle, man. And it's gonna say the way that it read. Fire and it was impoverished, whole Malachi on deck. Where it's Malachi 1 and 4, where it says in prophets. All right, go ahead. This is Sirach 22 and 23. Come. The 24. You got it? As the vapor. Oh, come. Go ahead. Sirach 22 and 24. As the vapor and smoke of a furnace goes before the fire, yep. so reviling for blood. Right. So as the as the vapor, read it again, Salagi. As the vapor and smoke of a furnace go before the fire. Yep. See, the vapor and the smoke of a furnace go before the fire, man. All right. America is going to be tormented, man. And the other nations going to see a smoke of fall as it speaks about. All right. And you're going to, that smoke going to be from where the Lord have made good on his promise, man, that he kept it. All right. Which this going to happen in the latter times, which we're in the latter times, man. All right. You're going to have smoke from wall. You're going to have smoke from the angels when they return with your hour shot with that concentrated heat. All right. It's going to be a lot of smoke and fire, man. Hell and death gonna be cast into the lake of fire, also, man. And this this devil is as hell, man. All right, go ahead. Huh? So reviling before blood. So reviling before blood, man. All right, a lot gonna be happening prior to the smoke coming up. All right, and it's gonna be happening on the watch of Edom, man. All right, the, uh, Edom a bloody man. You see, you you told us something. Okay. Go ahead, bring it up. This is Revelation eighteen verse eight. Yep. Therefore. Well, actually, I'll, I'll read verse two and then jump to verse eight. Come. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, "Babylon the Great is fallen. Is what is fallen? Is fallen. Babylon, which is Babel, all right, which means uh confusion. 
all right, or with Mitchell. America is the great melting pot, man. All right, all signs point to America has been this, even though uh, uh, John the Revelator, he was uh, saying it, you know, in a, in a uh, uh, past time or whatever, but he was saying it as now, man, because Jeremiah, all the uh, prophets of before, all refer to Babylon, but there's nothing new under the sun, man. Go ahead. It's fallen and it's become the habitation of devil yep. and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Come on. Jump to verse eight. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, yep. death and mourning and famine, yep. and she shall be utterly burned with fire. That is, utterly burnt with fire. Why the Lord have several references from different prophets saying how America is going to be burnt with fire, all right? You got to really hone in on that because the Lord, the Lord did burn other places with fire, but this one about to triumph it, all right? That's why he left it for the last, man, all right? That is the end of a thing. So the Lord going to show his work, man. Go ahead. For strong is the Lord Yahweh who judges it. And strong is the Lord Yahweh who judges it, man. Say, be burnt with other, fi other fire, right? Yeah, Utterly burnt with fire. Utterly burnt with fire. And, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her mm -hmm. shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. There go. When they shall see the smoke of the burning, man. And it says that the vapor coming up before the before the burning, man. All right. So it's it's all it all coincides, all right, with the way it's gonna be burnt. The Lord even put illustrations along with how he's gonna burn it. On saying how the how the uh cherry is gonna be hitting the, the fervent heat, eyes they gonna uh people eyes gonna consume away in their holes, lake all right, fire. the lake of fire. All right, he did uh illustrations surrounding it. He didn't just say he could have just said, All right, it's gonna be fire, and that's it. No, he did an illustration, and you gotta uh Basically, uh, uh, put this in your mind, all right, and see the destruction, man. All right, you gotta uh, pretty much go into the scriptures, man. And visualize, visualize it, all right, and see. It. Then I was hoping on this, and through the Spirit, the Lord put this lesson on me to, you know, to get busy with it. All right, with you done in that, you're giving the word Phoenix. Go ahead, bro. It's like when you, you go on Netflix or any movie. You, yeah. yeah. What's happening, Lucas? Lucas. Goes on a thrilling, very epic adventure. It's gonna happen. Even with Mark, Peter, John, and Luke, they all witness the same thing, but in their different points of view. You go to Ezra's. Ezra's give you a, a clear depiction on how it's gonna go down, man. Right? So much of it, it scared him, you know? So the most you gotta, but you gotta be well traveled through the books to understand the, the timeline of how things gonna happen, and and, and and very vivid in detail of the scriptures of how people gonna get get blazed out here, man. No, this 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 the scriptures are plain. The scriptures tell you that the scriptures are plain. You know? Yeah, the word, see, my my word is easy. Yeah, it's easy to them that understand. Yep. But, uh, yeah, nah, nah, he's right because the way that you connect the dots. Precept must be a phone precept. And basically, prophet must be a phone prophet. One to the other, to the other, to the to the uh apocryphal, all right, which is, is all one book, all right. All of them is saying something, and then you piece it together, all right. They all the Lord gave them visions, all right, but in their what in a similar to their own uh uh heart, all right. But again, the way that they explained it is the same as the other prophets, all right. They just some got more vivid with it, right. Some he he uh had to well like all right you scratch the surface and that that's the way I'll keep it and and then other ones he went in all the way in to see that he unleashed everything all right yeah yeah I was gonna say too that's why you brothers you know coming to the knowledge you you read when you read Matthew you gotta go study Matthew what 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 uh occupation was Matthew what time frame he was in you know some, some of the problems may be in Nineveh some of them was in Babylon yeah. You know, some of them came before others. Like even you can't go based on the, the you know how they got the book set up. Yeah, it's you know, not like that. Yeah. Right. No, but that's why you gotta be a diligent student to study the, the time frames of each prophet. Oh. The mothers, who their father was, what they done, you know. Even some of the different kings and the different the different wiki people, you gotta even study them, you know. Because oh. you might get in a debate with a nigga out here based on King Saul, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. A professor or something, you know, we you know back then we kind of dealt with college professors and told their ass up, man. 
It was just all about her going into it. Okay. And it does over they overlap each other. Because remember when Habakkuk, the Lord told Habakkuk to uh uh bring bring uh uh to bring him the fool, he said, I don't know who Babylon, and I don't know Daniel. All right, but they was living in, in the same time, man. All right, but he didn't know him. Just like when Elijah, I think it was Elijah or who he was, he was like, there's no more prophets. And the Lord said, I got 7,000 prophets who haven't bowed the need of Baal, man. All right, so like he say, the prophets was living in different times and uh, Nahum was, you know, was in, uh, 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 Jonah was in, had to go to Nivea. So did Tobit. Tobit was living at the time they saw the downfall of Nivea, like he say. So that's that's you know that's that's something you gotta know. But go jump into that Phoenix real quick. Kind of the word uh, Phoenix in all online etymology, a mythical bird of great beauty worship in Egypt. Yep. Worship where? Worship in where? In Egypt. This this gonna some good info gonna come out with this. And what is Egypt? What is America? What's America, brother? Spiritual Egypt and Sodom. Spiritually, right? That's why when the Lord refer to Edom, don't he refer to Egypt? I know you like that. <laughs> yeah, man. Why you why would the Lord refer to Egypt and Edom? That's two different basically categories. Right. So why would the Lord coincide them? All right. So you gotta again, it's it's all about connecting the dots. Once the picture and the puzzle become clear, you'll start to see what's going on, man. All right, go ahead. And the bird was the only one of its kind. And after living 500, 600 years in the Arabian wilderness. In the wilderness. All right. Where was Eve? Where was Eve? In the wilderness, right? Bring that out. You got the Malachi. He was, he was in, the, in the fucking cave. In the cave. Which is, you can liken that shit into the wilderness. Bigger <laughs> Malachi 1. And I hated Esau. And oh, he got it. My bad, brother. My bad. He got it. Go ahead. Malachi one and four. Yeah. Malachi one and four. Three. Okay. Malachi one and three. And I hated Esau yeah. and laid his mountains and his heritage waste in the, in his mountains and his heritage waste, which lets you know a wasteland. A wasteland. You can like it to the wilderness, but like the elder said, of course, it was the cave and the Caucasus mountains. All right. That was that was where he was. Do I let when you it's right? Even when you look at Petra today, ain't shit out there. Ain't shit out there. Oh, it's like town, uh, mountains, regions, man. They call next thing, that that uh that medieval that medieval mythical character they had called the Wood Wolves, the man of the woods, and it was just an illustration of an Edomite in the woods with full body hair. <laughs> they said right. in the in the story with it, they say they would they would come out of the woods and raid villages and take food and women and disappear back into the wilderness. Yes. Hey. Right. Which is uh uh that's E. Back there was like a big ass bat we played with. Club, a club. Like it was like a nerve toy or some shit. Oh, yeah. The blow, the, the wiffle bat, not the wiffle. Ah, big motherfucker, the conk. Yo, you know, and then grab his ain't cheap by the leg and then go back with it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, even through his mama playing. They got, you know, I'm gonna say this. Y'all brothers, pay attention to the TV, man. In the last past couple of months, they made over five commercials as he saw the picking as the fucking uh, yep. no, all that, yep. yeah, yeah, caveman, man. You know, and then and one of them, you notice too, even with this black guy, I forgot his comedian. I think he's a uh, rock friend. He wear he, he got the the seasons commercial. He wearing the oh, green. Yeah. They showing you this room. They got another commercial with Medusa on there and shit. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, it's showing you who they showing you the people what, what's going on, man. Yep. It says uh the bird was the only of its kind. Now think about it. He is he a special he is special it's devil. Only, it's what kind of eat out here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> to all the details in this, this was heavy. Was through the spirit that had it, right? What did it have? Oh, they, they, oh, the eagle they got an eagle up there. They got an eagle up there. <laughs> yeah. And the fasces, those two sticks on two sticks, goes yeah. back to Rome. And Rome, yep. Yeah. Huh. The Western Union. It, uh, built for itself a funeral pile of spices and aromatic gums. Regret. Lighted the pile with the fanning 
of his wings. With the fanning of his wings. Go ahead. And was burned upon it. And was burned upon it. All right. Go ahead. But from his ashes revived in the fresh freshness of you. See, in his ashes, in his ashes, revived in the freshness of his youth. All right. Again, like uh during during the time of the what the Roman Empire say he was he was wounded and what? And hit yeah. the rest uh, of it. First, all right? first. Yeah. The wrong, which what you know, ultimately is what we're in now, the Roman revive. You see, it's saying he was wounded for what? And still live. All right. So it says, from his ashes revived in the freshness of his youth, because the Lord what? Burnt this, burnt this damn this habitation down, damn the nearly. You get ran in the caves, you forgotten about. All right. You he forgot how to talk, walk, speak. All right, because prior to going in the caves, he knew how to do that. All right. But now when he got in the caves, the Lord took everything from him. Because it had to be a great coming back. All right. But he was what? From the revival of his wings, was burnt upon it, the fanning of his wings, revived in the freshness of his youth. Read the Malachi all the way. What say impoverished? Oh, all right. Go ahead. Yeah, come on, go ahead. I'll take a break up from the top. This is Malachi one and three. And I did Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished. We are impoverished. Ball to as low as you could go. Go ahead, I. So we will return and build the desolate places. We will return and build the desolate places, man. And that's him. Go ahead. Let's say the most high of hosts. They should build, but I will throw down. They should what? But I will like it. They should build, but I will throw down. See, they will build, but he should th he, he gonna throw down. All right. And what and what's the way the law gonna throw it down? We're gonna get into more other other precepts, man. I'm right proving that. Go ahead. And they should call them the border of wickedness. The border of wickedness, man. And these are all details on how you know who's who. That Phoenix got the same similarities when you go in Malachi, when it's speaking of Edom, Jeremiah, Isaiah, all these are the same similarities. So why well, look? How can that be so? Who could it be talking about? That's why they liken themselves into what? The evil. It's right? right? like the Phoenix. All right. But this, this. <laughs> This this Phoenix slash eagle gonna get burnt with fire, man. That's the whole, you know, that's the whole in it. You got something? Uh, hold on, hold on. Wait, yeah. finish down there. Get yeah. out. Uh, think, think, think of it. Figure of sense. Figure of sense. Yeah. Of that which was rising from the ashes of what was destroyed. Yep. Uh, the thing that rises for the ashes of what was destroyed. All right. Let me see if we got a little more. Which that's what that's the main point I wanted to get. Yup. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. That's that's pretty much good. Get get that point of Jeremiah on that. Where? This is Jeremiah 51. Uh -huh. This is Jeremiah 51. I'm gonna start at one. Thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon, yep. and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. A destroying wind. All right, a win is a destruction. Go ahead. And we'll send under Babylon fanners. Fanners, man. All right. What do you do with the fan with the fire? Yeah, you fan a fire. Uh, which is which what? It kindles. All right. The Lord say, uh, when I uh in Luke, uh when I come and set fire on the earth, what would I if it already be kindled? Because there's gonna be fire amongst the nations, man. All right, they're gonna be born, going through particular things, man. And the Lord, like, look, I'm bringing more fire on the earth, man. All right, I'm adding to it. Well, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, of course. Go ahead. And I will send under Babylon fanners. That that's, all right, that's that's going to, again, kindle the fire. Go ahead. That shall fan her yep. and shall empty her land. That shall empty her land. Go ahead. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Yep. They shall be against her. All right. And the Lord is against her. So the Lord against her, which he's the uh, the Lord of Sabaoth, the Lord of armies, his armies is against her. Start with the chief uh, angel. Mike Allah, all right. You got uh you got your house shine the rest of the angels that set to destroy this 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 place, man. All right, the whole host of heaven with the Lord is against the, the wicked, man. All right, and they're gonna come down and they're gonna do battle. All right, go ahead. It said in Revelation 19, it talked about your house shine on the white horse, and then a host of oh, yeah. on, like, like horses, <laughs> horses, 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 <laughs> chairs. Yeah, they coming to do what with the red horse, man. All right, it's a big battle. That red horse being Esau Edom. Go ahead, I, y'all go. Sure. 
Go ahead. Like I said earlier, it's not, it's not the first uh, society that the Lord destroyed by fire. Why? Yep. It's Jude 1 and 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Yeah. You, you got it. Yeah. So basically, we look at how these people so called live, uh, perverse ways of living. The Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah as an example of what he's about to do to this place. And when you read what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah, man, it was horrific. It was torched everything. So much so that nothing grows day to day. And what does the prophecy tell you about Babylon? Nothing's going to grow here. No, nothing's going to dwell here. Just desert creatures. So it's, it's all the same thing over and over again. And they got at the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, they got pure balls of 100% sulfur that you can just lightly set on fire and it's going to burn itself out. That, that's how intense that heat was. And if I could just get one real quick to back, can I get one to back him up real quick about Sodom and Gomorrah? Because in the scriptures, hey, not only not only is America synonymous with Babylon, but Babylon is synonymous with Sodom and Gomorrah as well. This is uh, Isaiah 13, verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the child, these excellency shall be, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh. And how do you overthrow ancient Sodom and Gomorrah? With fire and brimstone from the sky. So with this modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, it's going to be that modern fire and brimstone. Those 200 million nuclear tipped ICBMs, as well as that concentrated heat or laser beams from the chariots. And then it goes on and says it's going to be no more inhabited. Man, uh, the, the Arabian shall never pitch tent here, meaning no man, woman, or child is ever going to step foot on this land again. And it's only going to be desert creatures after a time. Yeah, Khan, uh, I. But again, like he said, Esau, you know, the destruction is out, man. All right, that target, that bullseye, and voila, the bullseye is what? Red. <laughs> and what you doing? You're trying to hit it in the what? The arrow in the what? The heart of the bullseye, man. Uh -huh. so, and that's what the law is going to do, these arrows, which are symbolic to the iron weapon, all right? The, the, the fire of, the uh, fire of, uh, it's blown without, it's blown without fire. All right, these nuclear uh, ICBM missiles, all right, going to help do that, man. That iron weapon going to strike her through. The ball still going to strike her through, man. Hey, what did Ezekiel see the women weeping for in Babylon? Weeping for Tammuz. Tammuz. Tammuz had the imagery of a bull. <laughs> <laughs> God, man. Yeah. Damn, I don't get Oh, listen, Jeremiah, but I'm, I know that, I know you're going to leave after me and we'll do a video. The brother. All right. Uh, uh, start at 17. Jeremiah 49 and 17. You know what? Bring out your bring out your because I know you Yeah, probably did. Yeah, I'm probably you probably need you to be dead. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's, it's, it's four, four. No, 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 yeah, I I will tell him grab it. I'm just gonna take both of them, brother. All right, come on, go ahead. Get on this. Yeah, it's four four. Yeah. All right, come on. You can take Okay. All right, come on. Yeah, All right, finish that. My bad, brother. My bad. I'm, I'm, Malachi right. 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Hey, the day cometh which it shall burn as an oven. If you put something in the oven and forget about it, what happened, Aki? Like, that's what the Lord, that's the Lord controversy. Like, he got a, a controversy with these people. He gonna basically put an oven over eat in this world his heaven, because this is his heaven, meaning what? His, his, the condition in which he lives, all right? Heaven is a condition. Heaven and hell are conditions, all right? Right now, the earth is conditioned by the what? So-called white man, Esau, Edom, and his ways, which is what? Completely all. Go ahead. Yeah, So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we in hell. Oh, man. And this day heaven. Even um, in the book of Jonah, when Jonah was swallowed up in the well, he can be he related to being inside of that well as I'm in hell. I'm in a rough condition. He said I'm in the belly of hell. Basically in a rough condition, you know. So you look at E, he living in the top penthouse of the world. He's in the, the flesh. Which that was his part of his blessing. That's part of his blessing. Yeah, he should have the fat of the earth. Going back in Genesis. By the swallow. Living uh luxuriously, man. So at this point, he's gonna get taken out of that out of that heaven, man. And say hell. Hell shall meet thee at thy coming. All right, the worm's gonna be spread under her. All right? me, before I go, real quick, give me that one about the green bay tree. 
If yeah. you look up Green Bay Tree, that song is 37 and should be like 35, 25. Oh, 37. All right. Where he went? This, uh, right. go ahead. Go. This is Psalms 37 and 35. Yep. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yep. Like a green bay tree. All right. Which is one of them trees that grows the, fur the furthest out or something right. like that, right? right? From its where it's planted. All right. But it's planted upon iniquity, which everywhere it spreads itself. All right. Uh, iniquity rises out, man. Where's borders are. Where's borders are. That's why he's uh, declared as the borders of wickedness, man. All right. The borders is the going around. All right. And everywhere where he all went around, his sanctions, all right, his uh democracy and different things proves it's him, man. All right. There's no nobody else spreading McDonald's and strippers and homosexuality like it, man. All right. It's a, it's a dead giveaway. You got to know this now, man. It don't matter what language this, this so-called devil, this so-called white man speaks, whether he's speaking, speaking British, uh, Spanish, German. English, German. Yeah. Right, Russian, Russian, yeah, Edomites, yeah. And the, and the most I got them in the, in the prime position now the, where their houses are divided. They're against each other, man. But get that bay tree, that, that word bay tree. You gonna read some more of it, though? Read, read some more? No, I think that's it. But I understand that. Read it again. Read it again. Read it again. This is uh, Psalms 37 and 35. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. That's the word bay tree. Is, uh, Strong's H 2249 Azara. Yeah. It says, a native, one rising from the soil of man, native Israelites of a tree native to Israel. But it said wicked. The wicked spreading this up further. Like, like a green bay tree. Read the next precept, though. It's another, it's another word. It's supposed to be going into. Bloomsbury, man. Bay tree. To the root. Early in the alley. We'll read the next priest out while you look for it. Verse 36. Yet he passed away. Did yeah. he what? Yet he passed away. Right. And lo, he was not. Yeah, I saw him, but he could not be found. You had a law about the uh, layers heritage with the dragons again for good this time. Mm -hmm. All right? Because at the end of his, at the end of his, his full day, of serving us going in captivity and servitude in the kingdom of heaven where you so-called negroes latinos and native americans is going to rule all right he's going to serve you all right and after that thousand them thousand years the lord going to burn them off the face of the earth man with fire man we, it's going to be a big born yard and we're going to burn every edomite all right that every white person you ever seen no the, the daughter sons everybody they ain't going to be able to procreate that's going to be off the face of the earth man in this country Thanks, y'all, brother. Y'all right. find that at? Oh, but I have Wait, no, there's a part in. I got one in 30. All right, Yeah, there you go. Yeah, another part in Isaiah where he said he's going to burn, uh, don't bury your dead next time. I think that's what it's, I think that's the You probably got to get it, brother. That's the word green. It's green, yeah, again. Green. Yeah, green. Green means light. Uh, that's green. You see, that color is synonymous with. with Life, we're life, yeah, yeah. Eighteen, one to nine. Yeah, it's eighteen. Yeah, yeah. 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 Twenty one. Eight four eighty eight. Right on. It says, uh, green to be, to be or grow luxuriant or fresh or green, fresh, yeah. flourishing. Yep. He uh, when we read when we when we did the video, uh, he said uh, uh the the the, the, the daughter pleasant, they 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 was pleasant. Uh, the uh, the pleasant was an uh, you had asked me what it was, and I read, I reread it for you. It says, uh, the delicate, the, del the delicacy, the uh, she she is delicate, like with the nations. A uh, plumber get it, I'm a deliciously, deliciously. Yeah, delicious. Uh, this one that said pleasantly, though, or whatever that I read, and uh, I'll forget it. I'll tell you, man, that's on me, all right, but yeah, the Lord intend. To take her luxurious living, all right. She uh, she shall be what cast down, all right. The she she have lived in treasures while she living. The she is America, which is the whore, all right. She's the whore that's sitting upon many waters. The waters is the peak, all right. So she's like a water, like a, a bird in a sense. You know how they got the the the, the uh the um the the thing we got 
that she sit on the heads, she sit on the seven heads or whatever, that's riding the beast. Right? The Lord going to knock that beast down in her, man. You're going to burn everything up. And when you burn something, uh, you got to burn everything. The buildings, the street, whatever is included in it, all right, that's how full purification comes. You don't leave something standing because if something was wicked, everything is defiled. You got to burn it all up, all right? Yes, sir. It says in Revelation 17 and 16 that the, the ten horns upon the beast shall hate her and eat her flesh and consume her with fire. So the beast is going to burn up the whore. Burn and then, hey, then the elect are going to consume the, the beast. beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's gonna burned. Burned. <laughs> no matter what order, in that order, though, like the brother said. But yeah, the Lord going the Lord going to deal with this place, man. All right. Go ahead. What else you got? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Starting 17. I, oh, let's go to 49. I got to read the whole chapter, man. Go ahead. There's uh, Je Jeremiah 49, verse 17. Also, Edom shall be a des desolate desolation. Right. So, Edom going to be a desolation. All right. Go ahead. Everyone that go by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. Yeah, the Lord going to, she going to, uh, you going to hiss at the plagues thereof. Everyone will be going to be astonished, like, wow, this great, this great. A wonderful nation. No one thought they could that she could come down, man. Like the Titanic. They always say, oh, oh, even God couldn't sink this boat. And show sure nothing was sunk, man. <laughs> he said, God can't sink this boat, man. All right. Even Edom have said in his heart that who shall bring me down? Who gonna cast me down? All right. I shall not know widowhood. I, I will not know the loss of children. All right. So she's pride. I want to listen to pride. Lady forever. <laughs> And she said as a lady forever, man. A burnt lady. All right. Um, jump to jump to 22. All right, uh, verse 22. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle yep. and spread his wings over Bosra. <laughs> and Go ahead. look at the Lord. The Lord got a sense of humor. Go ahead, bro. And at the day, and that and at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pain. So the Lord said, behold, he should come up and fly as the eagle, as their own self, <laughs> and his wings over Bajra. Who Bajra is? Hey, brother, what Bajra is? What Bajra is? Bajra. Bajra? Yeah. Isaiah 63 and, and 1. Who is Bajra? What is Bajra in the scripture? He said it, he said it plenty of time. When it for plenty of time. No, oh, you know, brother. Let him, let him think. Slow, slow your thinking on, brother. Bob, just slow down and, and don't you know, think too hard. Don't think too hard, brother. Bob is another name for who? Uh, eat. It, eat. What he? You know what it was? You know what it was, though? It was eat. a city. I'll give you yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, you give it to him. <laughs> Hey, it's an honor for the Bajaria, bro. Isaiah 63 and 1. And who is this that coming from Edom? Yep. With dyed garments from Basra. Right, so dyed garments from Basra. From Basra, all right? Which is a, a is a synonymous. This is a city, a chief city in Edom. Go ahead. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. It's talking about Jehovah's shot. His, his garment going to be dyed, man. All right, go ahead. It was going to be dyed with. Go ahead. Speaking righteousness, mighty to say, yep. thou red in thine apparel. See, red in his apparel, man. Red represent what? Blood, man. Go ahead. My garments like him that treaded in the wine. So when you in the wine fat, if you got on, uh, you know, in the ancient time, and they treading or uh, uh, breaking the grapes and the fruits down, when they get out, they're going to be what? Colorful. All right? They're going to be in red. this particular red. Yeah. Red, man. Go ahead. Full of blood, in other words, when you tread blood down great. the blood, all right, go ahead. I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment. Yeah, their blood shall be sprinkled upon the garment, man. All right. So the Lord, the Lord gonna make this bird disappear, man. Yeah. All right. Give me go ahead. Give me get with my Solomon five and on 14. Where's it when the, 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 the bird fly it in the air and then you don't see it no more? Go ahead. It is second Ezra 11 and 37. And I beheld in low as it were a roaring lion chased out of the woods. I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle. That's your shot as the lion. All right, send it out to the eagle. Y'all should know who this eagle is by now, right? 
that line's talking about you. I was shy. Go ahead, I. Right. And this also goes into really, really goes into ancient times, ancient Roman Empire. But it's twofold. You can liken it to today's time too. Right. He's he's that that the last of the of the end of that uh, beast, that statue, man. Right. And it says, "Here thou, I was talk with thee, and to the highest said unto thee." Or not thou the remainings of the fourth beast whom I made to reign in my world? At that, at that time, like he said, a Roman Empire. Go ahead, I. That the end of their time may come through them. So the end of their time is coming through them, man. All right? He is killing himself. Did not he created the smith that blow out the coal in the fire? All right? Uh, what is Oppenheimer? What is, what's that nigga name? Oppenheimer. All right? You got him who's created, uh, again, what he say he shall be in debt? What he's saying is? I, I become his death, destroyer of worlds. Right. I become his death. Right, so he's become his debt, destroyer of worlds, man. Right. All right? Okay, he gonna go in. It's, it's, the two realms is about to fight each other, man. Right. It says, 40. And the fourth came and overcome all the beasts that were past and had power over the world with great fierceness. So That's going into the, the whole world at that time. And that world is talking about the Israelites, man. He ruled over that world with great fierceness, man. All right. And it says, and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression. And so long time dwelt upon dwelt he upon the earth with the sea. Just like today. Right. You know, just like today, man. And I love on the planet Earth. That's why Job 9 24 says that the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Right, then he covered the face of the judges they are. If not, where and who is it? The Lord asked that question because it's plain to see who's ruling the planet Earth. All right, who's setting up who can sanction everybody, but nobody can sanction them? Yeah, yeah. All right, who can uh set up military bases on every different continent, but they ain't got a damn thing over here? They got nothing, you know? <laughs> unless they allow, yeah, with the UN or something, yeah, you know, they got to meet up there, you know. Uh -huh. Language, what language are we speaking right now? Yeah. Everybody got to put on a, a tie, a suit and tie. They, they at the summits, man. <laughs> and share their face, yeah, man. That came from, uh, that came from uh, what's his name? Alexander Great. Uh, what is it? Alexander Julius Caesar? That was one of them that made everybody, he was all the way into shaving, man. But when you look at Caesar, Caesar, you look into the Israelites, I think when, by the time, it was one of those Jake that got up in there, he, he stopped all that. I think it was uh, Severus, stopped all that shit, man. That shit came from Esau, shaving you. A man ain't supposed to shave, man. Uh -huh. Right? The scripture tell you that a man having a beard, if you can grow a beard, it's a token of, of a badge of uh, manly hey, dignity, man. Yeah, you got you know? to grow it. It's like in a while, you have a lion. A lion has a mane. A lioness don't have a mane, man. That's for a reason. That's to tell us the difference between the two. You no? Know? It's about the, it's about manly pride, man. Right. What's on the They cut tell me. Yeah, he was a special from birth when he was born. He was born with the strength of the Lord. So he had to uh, take a basically take a Nazareth vow, which goes into where he had to keep his hair. All right. He had to grow and say he couldn't cut his hair long as he lived it because that's where his strength came from. Not there's a, that ain't, that don't mean it's for everybody, but it, again, is it it is in the law to where we're not supposed to ball our heads, we're not supposed to cut our beards off. That's why you see Jake with five o'clock shadows, man. Or you'll see where his hair's supposed to grow, all right, but it ain't there, all right. So that's that's all according to the law. Even lining, your head lining the corners of your head, that's all. We as we as the children of Israel, we ain't supposed to do that. Yeah. That's, now. The way we keep our strength is following the laws of the commandments to the best of yeah. our food. Coming back to our heritage, that's, that's where our strength lies as the so called black, Latino, Native American. These, especially in the end times, because it's going to happen over here. Martial arts troops, FEMA camp, we're going to get torching people and shit like that. Our strength going to lie in knowing who the, who the Messiah is. Basically, his name is Yahweh, when they even call God, and the one they call Jesus Christ's name is Yahweh Shot, man. So, ain't no, ain't no such thing as Allah and, and Buddha and, and uh what to call that shit Jesus and stuff that's it's all fairy tales man it's all life and that's why the Lord got the real men in the Lord on the block teaching the word in these end times because as you can see America coming to an end you know 
these elite bankers, Rothschild, they on a they on a, a war path to kill as much as they as people as they can, man. They already started with the C nineteen. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? The banks are talking about yeah. Oh, yeah, you know we're on YouTube. Yeah, we're on YouTube, so we can't talk about the one because they'll flag our videos, but you know, you gotta you gotta use lingo. But the C nineteen. They're hitting people in the room to take you out, man. Ultimately, going to usher in the, the market. You know what the market of pizza is, right? Come on, everybody know what the market of pizza is. What is it, though? It's amazing. The market of pizza, like, you're supposed, to let them put it, you're supposed to let them put it in, I don't know if it's a search bar or whatever. Right here, they it's like, control. Basically, like, well, you, gonna, you ain't going to be able to buy no food without it. Because I don't know. Uh, so, like, what they're doing now with the, with the C19 is they're trying to make sure you can't go into the stores, right? Like, you got to have, I mean, she got to have a vaccine. I just try to go to hair. Literally, like I say, it's my first first time ever leaving Texas. Yeah. My girl out here traveling, that's like, how it's off. So, you know, well, I try to go to Harrisburg. They're like, if you ain't got no vaccine, man, you can't. Even... So, like, I didn't think I'm ready. Yeah, that's how, that's how it's going to be with the with the, with the, with the uh, chip. You can't buy no chip. Yeah, I can't buy no chip. Yeah, but the chip is a, it's a, it's a little chip of the size of a grain of rice that they're going to try to implant under the skin. Your right hand or your forehead. And they say, Bill Gates was talking about that already. Bill Gates already yeah. talked about that. He's the main one trying to push. He's the yeah. main one. I yeah. mean, it ain't like he ain't been. I already up there with the computers and all this, so he already took up with all this. I think we're talking about right. He basically took up with the computers and all that already. So, boom, these they looking like okay, well, he got all his money with him, man. So, we're gonna do what he say. for are gonna these people, we're gonna control everybody, we're gonna know they hit it all the time. What the guy did? I mean, Elon Musk, Elon Musk, he's the, he's the one that's gonna be able to jump take that city up your nostrils to put it in your forehead, put it to put the arrow link, neural link, brain link, man. I won't put the power. Hey, put the power to take it. That's some use. Yeah, we got brothers in use. I just, I mean, we were living. Don't make a whole yard be like, I just got that. I just didn't see what I'm saying. Except when I was 19, came home, they didn't see them. Okay, yeah, so, we got brothers. Yeah, I, no. I mean, I'm going home with y'all. I mean, see, I pray to this one. Yeah, I feel y'all coming from home without that. I pray to this one. And I ain't speak for I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm like, what you spoke about? He's like, I don't know, I'm speaking about stuff like this. My point of view, don't just speak to nobody. I practice, I practice pretty standard, I practice this stuff. I ain't, I'm the type of, like, I ain't got, I ain't got no problem reading, sitting there, this, I just, I just, the way I was looking at it, like, I, 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 so I, I feel like he said this, like, uh, we got I'm going to say this to you, though. We got, we got, we got a brother that was once in the shoes you were practicing Islam. But what you better do, my, my, my big thing to you is go home for research and understand how Islam, Dr. Islam, right? Right? Uh, I don't know. Who, 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 uh, Muhammad, he that basically say Muhammad, but basically I like him. What's his name? 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 Big uh contribute to the, the church, she sent the church out. She set up two set up in the church to go out and find handsome guy that can actually uh salesman. Cares for the guy because back then it was the so called uh picking up from all the rest was coming down up. They did they set up Islam as a tactic to the hopes of winning winning back over winning the land back over. They set up they set up Muhammad as a, a forerunner. This one was set up by to show you how this a part of the Roman Catholic Church. It's not in the in the it's not in the uh, the Quran. They have a book of Miriam. Book of Miriam. You know what Miriam is, right? Miriam, Miriam goes back to Mary. Why why does why does worship Mary? Some, hey, we, I don't have some worship. We, I mean, why did they have a book of marriage? Mary. And then I mean, we worship, though, because we got a book of Esau, and we don't worship Jesus. 
Hey, don't wish the peace that I spoke to East Side, too, though. Yeah, but why the hell is Book America? Man, what, what other, uh, basically, God, I get what you're saying. Basically, you're trying to say, basically, that came from the Bible. Basically, yeah, the Roman Catholic uh, Church. The Roman Catholic Church set up Islam. Right, which right. you try to say the same people that say Quran, the same people in the Bible. Sorry, but the Bible is just a, what you about to say? The Bible is just a, well, the Quran, the word Quran just means to recite, right? The Quran ain't nothing more than a, uh, uh, let me see, it's like a, not a carbon copy, but it's like a watered down copy. Just took scriptures and oh, they bastardized. They, they took scriptures from the from the Bible and and reworded it to the liking of they of uh, they uh of their culture. Now let me tell you this: like he said, it comes out of the Roman Catholic Church, which they their biggest thing in the Roman Catholic Church, church is religion. Do you know what religion means? That's the way of life, right? No, it's it means religios, which means to restrain the whole back. So, like he said, they gave them at that time. Islam to what? Basically, what? Get the people off course. That's why you got different religions today, man. Yeah, to win over it. To, to win over. Yeah. Negroes came up with the whole religion of Islam in hopes of gaining the trust of the of the, uh, the Arabs. Yeah. What they can do Because you you should know about the, the Crusades, right? So the Crusades war. Who don't know too much about it, man? I like. But look, I'm gonna speed you through it. After a sort of, after a, a period of time, it was. Muhammad came actually nice. Would you would you worship Islam? Would yeah. You worship would you do it? Yeah. Certain Israelites back then, because guess who guess who taught uh, Muhammad? Israelites, man. Israelites. The Deja was Israelite. She was Israelite. Yeah, but he remember he he was a uh, I thought, yeah. yeah. Come on, understand? Yeah. So once he started gaining power and popularity, he came actually like the second time he came a little third. Third time he came with the sword and started killing Negroes, man. Yeah. Then he did he. Why you think you ever heard of the Moors? Yeah, Moors, 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 yeah. The Moors, the Moors, the Moors. The Israelites. The Moors, the Israelites. <laughs> they ain't nothing but uh, Islam, Islamic worshiping Israelites. Man, that was that was it was put on them by the force of the sword. All right, because they remember Negroes lived in North North Egypt, Morocco. In Morocco, they went to the very to Spain. In Spain, so called Negroes and the Moors moved the whole known world of uh, Europe, man. You know, but you got to do some more. I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah. I, I mean, I, 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 I mean, that's all yeah, I'm, I'm like, type person I am. I can't just, okay, this is my religion. What you're saying wrong. I'm going to go listen and see what it's like. Give me the. Uh, the scripture about the uh the scripture about the Beridians, man, in Acts. I, I I plead with you, brother. Please go back and study. I'm gonna say this in these times, Islam is nothing more than a prison house doctor, man. It's a prison house of religion for protection and different yeah. things in jail. Yeah. Man. I mean, how do we go to speak? I mean <laughs> what it mean? And I'm like, what 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 was it? It's not. Yeah, what what was it mean? Like, basically, like, what the word mean? And the brethren immediately sent the Bereans. The Bereans. The Bereans. Yeah, bring it up. This is Acts 17. I'll start at 10. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. He said, he said they searched the scriptures daily to see if those things were true. That's what we're asking you. Go back home and search what we're saying. If you want, what you're going to find out, it, it's going to be true, man. You know? And we like I said, we had brothers in your in your place that was you know, in Islam and different things like that, and they came out of that, man. It's like dudes in the church. Because one thing about a one thing about a real man, but a only church is a priest. Yeah, I, I when I joined Islam in first, I was like, are you? I'm, I got a question for you. Go ahead, finish. When you finish, join Islam. It was it, was, it really was a whole bunch of stuff. Cause you know I'm a blur, so yeah. 
man, I was still young. I went down on that, but it was just like when I when made me really get into it, I, I found peace. I don't I don't know, you know, like certain people, like when you really feeling something, you you do something like I found peace. I ain't gonna lie. I found I was at peace every time I was at Juma. I wanted you my life. It was like I was finding peace. Like I'm not gonna even lie to you. I was finding peace from I ain't because we spiritual people. And really, bro, you're an Israelite. All right. We're gonna tell you that and we want you to go back and look that up and see that. Because first of all, you join something. When you something, you can't join. You can't become something and then say this is my heritage or my nationality. You can't join something. That's like today. If I go join a club or something like that, I can't say this is where I originated from. Or came from. You got to think about what you're saying. You join Muslims or uh, Islam and where you found peace. But Israelites are spiritual people. We looking for peace. We come from, we are plain people. Jacob, which is our forefather, he was a plain man. All right. Meaning what? He was, uh, what's the... you, you can, as an Israelite, He's you, already, you already are Israelite by blood, flesh, by the promises of the most, promises and the covenant of the most. All right. You can't become with something that you already. You can't change. <laughs> you can't become something that you already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, right to say, basically, my teacher Shahada was like, I, I basically became Muslim. Did you? We let me tell you, you think about that. You wasn't a Muslim when you went to jail, brother. All right. Even being a blood, oh, you know, which we, you know, we got, we got, yeah, brothers come from these things that we thought what we thought we was until. The, the the knowledge got from the scriptures basically uh saw that our spirit get that way and say our spirit try the spirits by the spirit because our spirits is of, of of the book of the scriptures man all right and that's why we understood from there is our heritage all right where we come from our nationality our whole line starting from adam man that's how we found that's what we know yeah but you're a Muslim, so you're African. Uh, Af you gonna say you're African American? Right. Come. You see? You said that you're black. Black is just. This is black. This is black. Yeah, nobody is color, no. So I said that's big. I ain't saying you have people that say that, oh, how can you be from Africa and America? That's two different countries, man. I get what you're saying. But when you think any other nation of people out here, where they're from, they know exactly they can pinpoint I'm from this part of Germany, I'm from this part of so and so and so and so. I ain't gonna say you get too with every like I used to talk to them the American CEO down there. You know how TV is all I don't know if it's in the prisons out here, but you know. Now they're going to have a whole bunch of yeah. it's like 70% of them are going to be Africans. It's different now. Oh, like I've traveled with some Africans sometimes. They're like, we don't understand. You don't even know what you use. You're not even real African. You can't even say this thing. Hey, you know I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, and I'm like, that's yeah, right. Give me Psalms 83. Because you're speaking the truth. Because yeah. the thing about it, these, these, hey, man, just like in that brother, that store brother right there. We've been dealing with them for over, what, 10, 11 years. We go in there and talk to them. They know that you are not. They know that you are not uh, Arab. They know that you are not African. Yeah. They know this shit. The nation, the, the different nations of the earth, they know who we are. It's in, it's been in, it's, it's scripture. They've been knowing who we are. They just hide our nationality from us. That's who we are. They told you, oh, you every ten, you know, this, we are with us. Every ten years, our nationality change. You go from black, African American, Negro, colored. Every ten years, it changed. Oh. It's BIPOC now, Black Indigenous People of Color. <laughs> Give me that real fast. Right, Psalm 83. All right, keep not thy silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. See, our enemies, our enemies make a ruckus about us. Go ahead. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. These Arabs, these so called Chinese, Japanese, the so called white men. They have uh, lifted up the head or pride against us, man. Go ahead. They have taken crafty counsel against that people. They have taken crafty counsel against us, man. Right? And since, since the times of Christopher Cuba or Christopher Columbus coming over here, all right, going back to Adam Wise House, these guys have, even the, the top bankers have took, because you understand, when you understand that the Lords of London funded the whole, the whole slave trade, all right, when you start understanding who 
who uh, set up the bankers to take us down in Africa. So we're not from Africa. Negroes in America are not from Africa. We're from Israel, the land of Israel, right? And then funded all, they funded all that slave trade to actually bring them down as a people, man, to, to basically erase our heritage from us. And, and they did it. They, they accomplished that, go ahead. And consulted against our hidden ones. Right. And they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Yeah. Let us cut them off from being a nation. That's why they, they give us, they fund us Islam. They fund us, they fund us games. All right, they give you that. Those games were set up by the CIA, man. Going back way a little bit before the time of Tookie Wills. I forgot one of the guys' names. The guy was a CIA. You no, know, matter of fact, CIA said we brought so true. Exactly. They sent them over to dope. Because America, they, it was a war. It's a new from a whole other country. The country they, they was going to have a war. You talking about uh, the Panama, the, the country? The Pan, okay. Pan, 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 something like that. Pan, 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 the same Pan, Pan, yeah, yeah, the, the whole, that whole the dude that was selling out, that was getting the dope to Rick Ross, real Rick Ross. Basically, he was under the CIA. The CIA was using him to send him off. And basically, yeah, the U.S. government was selling guns in South Central and South America to the Contras and the Saint Denis, and they were sending the drugs back. And then the yeah, government was putting the drugs into the neighborhoods. Selling the dope, leaving guns for all that shit set up, man. The games going back to Tukey Williams. All them guys were set up. All right, it started. It started off as a community thing. Then it turned into, then it, you know, you know what? You can look this up too, my man. You know what? I'm talking about the California blood. You know that shit was. You know what the first gang war in California fought over? You say the first gang war between you no know, the the gang war of California or the blood and Chris Noodle who, who, who fought over? Jay, stolen bike. That was a Jay. It was a stolen bike. <laughs> It's even worse. A jacket on a stolen bike. A jacket even worse. <laughs> the, stolen the, bike. the jacket was on a stolen bike. <laughs> some, of them, some of them, some of them don't even get killed and make it and make the guy go away and seem like they killed them and they start they start wars like right that, man. It's all about dividing conquer, controlling both sides. Then they set up the, the Mexican game. And now, like I said, I live in Houston. I know about, I know about uh, the uh, MS-13, Houston Blast, and all them. Yeah. Catch yeah. them middle lights. They got them worn, too. You know? Hey, Doc. Yeah. Get it. You know, it went. <laughs> Go ahead, Doc. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, that our names be no more in remembrance. Go ahead. For they have consulted together with one consent. These nations have consulted together with one consent. What? They are confederate against thee. They're confederate against us. That's why we always bring out when you go when you go into the, the UN or United Nations meeting, why is it there are no nations to represent the so-called Negroes today? There's no nation to represent the Native Americans. There's no nation to represent and, and Chavez is dead now. So there ain't no nation to represent the Latinos. You don't have a seat up there saying Negroes. You got you got Chinese, Japanese, you got Russian. You got all these nations in there talking about the game amongst themselves, but there's no one to speak up for them. And let's not even get into these fake ass leaders out here. Uh, the, the, uh, Malcolm X's and all them guys of the world, them guys, a lot of them guys were agents and set up too. You know, they only been doing is playing a big trick on us, bro. Even from the uh, NC, what it is? What's the call shit? NAC. Yeah. That shit was set up, that shit was set up in 1808 by. By so called Jewish people, I've been thinking that too, though, man. I've been thinking that. It's just about Jewish people. I feel like they ain't gonna let no black, no, I don't, not, I don't say black, but I don't think you say Israelite. I don't think they're gonna let like, no Israelite be like, no power like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, man. 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 I'm just saying, it's all heard of j edgar hoover j. it's the head of the fbi he said there will never be another black messiah unless we set him up okay. yeah, you know and he said the most and he also said the most dangerous thing to the american whites of america is, is black unity okay. That's why you get your fair cars. These are all set up people, man. All your leaders, all the leaders, all the leaders of our people cause us to L. Let me say this. Out of all them cats, man, 
that guy Melvin Mason was probably the best one. <laughs> but he was he was he was, he was set up. The best of the world. <laughs> but he was set up with me right now. You try to save the pound back in this time, baby. Like, you ain't no prize. I'm gonna get some white people in there. Well, the guy, one of our elders, Albert Bivens, right? He 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 actually he actually ran it with uh, he actually ran it with Malcolm Mix. He told Malcolm Mix, just like we're telling you the truth of who he is and everything. Malcolm Mix started to believe. He went told, he actually went told, uh, what's the name? Uh, Martin Luther King, man. Why he made that speech about he was set up. Well, she was set up. That guy, that guy, even in the FBI files of J. and Hoover, that guy said, he said that uh, uh, Malcolm Mix is a monk compared to uh, Martin Luther King. You know, you really ready for this? He said, a monk. I mean, that guy wasn't doing actually nothing. Fireboy compared to Martin Luther King. That nigga was a homosexual, man. <laughs> Constitution is yeah, yeah. 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 man. You know, I got, like I say, even you see how when I leave the papers at the house, you can't even say this for who wanted the game, yeah. yeah. I mean, his boyfriend name. Like I mean, I ain't never heard that about Martin King. I didn't hear. It. I mean, I read something like that about Michael Mays. When he come, I mean, I, I still can believe it. Like they put that in the book, though. Now that's why. That's why. Philadelphia. Yeah, that's why. 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 That's uh, what do you mean, Bring that big old uh, in Philadelphia. Now he said, "Bring that big old, bring that big old ride over here." Hey, hey. <laughs> and the FBI, look up, the FBI uh, got those like the hey. wild those tapes sealed, and they like you said, man. He, uh, what her name is? His wife. That's like gotcha. she had a she had, she had, she had a, it was sealed for ten years. It came off release. Uh, even uh, Trump Trump released a lot of the shit, man. That dude, that dude was a freak. set up, and he was set up. He was set up by the white people to control us, man. He put us back to sleep. He said, "Keep us enslaved." I think I did my. He think I. He said, "I think I." I think I took my house. But he, 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 he was dealing with the Rothschilds. Yeah, yeah. They are. Yeah, yeah, right. I like the Rothschilds. To run the murder, they, 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 they own the murder lock, stock, and barrel, man. Them the ones that say, hey, I want, I want two planes to hit those, and they're gonna have it. For real. Brother, you not no Muslim, bro. You joined that. Now it's your, it's your responsibility, all right, to understand your heritage and your nationality, bro. Because you can't become something and then say that's what I am. You can't do that. Be you cool. must. What you? Before you was a Muslim, all right, I joined it. What was you? I ain't gonna say blood. I ain't gonna say blood. There you go. So, but now who are you? But now who are you? You gotta find out who you are. That's that's the search, bro. At the end of the day, which again, we know who you are. You're an Israelite. All right. From you, you, you come from the, the, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, which is God's chosen people on the planet Earth, man. Right? And that's facts. Most important well, thing now as a man. It's basically finding out what 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 defines you, what you willing to die for, what you, who are you, man? Especially here in America, you've been lied to your whole life. Lied to your whole life, bro. Everything that you see is there's nothing more than a uh, uh, illusion. Go ahead. I'm gonna ask you this question. It's all on me. I mean, he said it. He said it. Like, yes. Yeah. He said it. 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 If that would mean God, I mean, like, he is one, like, you, you pray a lot by the time we do. You pray a lot, you know. That's good. 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 That's
can. Now, our God has a name, Yahweh. All right, Allah is just a nameless, this is an idol. Because it, it was a prophecy that we would go into slavery on ships and serve gods of wood and stone. You serving the God of stone. You go to uh, Mecca. In Mecca, they're going to offer a stone and they kiss the stone. They kiss the stone. They're worshiping the stone. That's what, that's what Allah is. You know what the cop is? Civil, there's, there's civil copper stone. You know what that is? Well, it's going back. We, we all going, we all going back to Rome. I don't know what it is. It's been a while. Ready? I don't know exactly, exactly, but. Somebody give me a picture of it, please. I like a certain number of times. I'll give it to you. It's only I'm, what I'm about to give you is only it's only for you to digest, bro. It's only for you to digest it now. Now that copper stone that you see, if they worship, they walk around all day. It's actually it's a it's an actual it's a fabric symbol, it's a vagina. You know the niggas they kiss it. They, they hit it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? They throw little white stones at it. Semen. Uh, I don't know white stone at all. What, 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 what does that look like? What does that look like? What you worship? You gotta know what you worship, bro. Hey, cut off. Believe in that. It's a semen. Semen. Can't do that. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts, bro. That's, that's facts. And you know how in uh Islam they say Allah got like. 900 999 different names yeah, that, that goes back to arab paganism because they had 99 gods and when when khadijah got muhammad to create islam he incorporated arab paganism with as a, as the brothers were saying earlier taking things out of the scriptures but twisting it to make it all fit together to make it more easily sellable to the arabs i can say this real quick the catholic church did the same thing with christianity they took all the roman gods and they tried to mix it with the bible the arabs did the same thing with their gods and tried to mix it with Quran, it's all the same. It's all religion. That's it. Paganism. Hey, hey when we have an it's for us to serve. They give you those gods so you can't serve your true god. That's, that's it. That's, that's it. They all gave all of us different gods and basically made us want each other to take. It. That's, that's it. it. The ha- yeah, that's it. Also say the handsome you. Tell that we know what we talking about. We didn't dealt with the. You know, I didn't read the Quran. You know, it's nothing. But I will say this. You gotta understand what you're dealing with. Because even in the Quran, they say when you die and go to heaven, you're gonna be vast a bunch of handsome youths. A boy is handsome. It's not talking about women, they're talking about boys. And they got a a, a practice over in Afghanistan and like Pakistan and all that called bacha bazi, which means boy play, where they get underage boys and get them to belly dance and, and handle business with them. That's those handsome youths. But it's it's called bacha bazi. And it means boy play. Simply, man. That's just means some you. You know what the priest doing, man? <laughs> Don't tap that. Don't tap that and run that, bro. That's what they're going on, bro. That's what the Roman Catholic Church do. They do. They 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 plug them little boys up because they, the Roman Catholic Church they say that. The closest, the closest thing to purity is the anus of a little boy. Yeah, but, and we get you read, you get into that shit. That's what they. That's what they, well, they, 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 uh, they push pedophilia, pedo, pedophilia, pedophile, pedophilia. pedophilia. They push that because they got a new sign with the pedophilia, not saying that they just misunderstood. Uh. It, man, that's it. That's a man molesting a child. There's mm-hmm. nothing right about that. You can't justify that in no kind of way, man. All right, right. Pedo- pedophilia is for devils. All right, and the devils that is for the Lord gonna kill every last one of them, man. Isn't that all? A bunch of them just passed. Yeah, the Lord gonna kill them. With pedophilia, they ain't against it. So what you permit, you promote. So if you a Muslim and the things we telling you, go look them up and see if they true. If you permit that, you promote it, mean you with it. We know we hmm. we know you ain't with it though. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I'm with it. Okay, you got to say, look, yeah, I believe in that too. That's your it's your custom, bro. You 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 know it. Yeah. Man, now I ain't gonna just sit there telling no anything. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna study. I ain't I ain't saying I'm gonna like I'm gonna study and, and read and read. Yeah, go go look. Especially with with, with our religion, like I used to get into it with them and uh, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna do my. I wasn't going up the wheel, but I'm like, all right, I mean, if you're going to tell me this, I'm going to make you work for it. Yeah. It's not that means I know what you're going to do before you do it. So I'm, I'm just, don't take this no disrespect. 
at first, and one point in time, I'm like, man, I ain't believe it, though. Right. A lot of us really didn't. But a lot of us didn't get to it. That's what America does you. America beat you down so much. Well, you don't be like, you know what? Fuck everything. Fuck everything. Yeah, you get the point. Like this bad. Get to the point where I'm like, man, we know if it's real. How we know if it's real? I don't know get mad at this for believing what we believe. The spirit, though. Gonna reveal particular things to you that's gonna know invisible truth, man. All right, the spirit of the Lord. You and again, a lot of things is to come with faith. Faith gotta be wrapped around it because at the end of the day, you gotta believe in what you believe. All right, like you gotta be fully set on your on your on your methods of believing, bro. Like if you believe you're a Muslim 100 percent it could back it up, you go find out that you know the information you gotta find and stand on that business. But again, you not you not Muslim. All right, you're an Israelite. You're searching right now. Searching, searching, which we all had a spirit of searching at a point, man. I said, it's the most I got you here today, man. Yeah. For real. So, uh, plan on doing the Lord. Anyway. So he was out here and you heard the words that you heard, man. That's it. And then I got, they brought the scripture, the scripture to back it up, too. Go ahead. Bring it up. It's Job 3 and 15. And a dream and a vision at the night when deep sleep falls upon men and slumberings upon the bed. Then he opened the ears of men and sealed up their instruction. That's how the most high gets men or people to do what he wants them to do. When they when you fall asleep, the Lord programming your event, the things you're gonna do the next day. You know, whether whether that whether that for your good or for, for bad. Whether something, you know, every like really and truly every day in itself is like a spirit. So the Lord is programming the events. You know, you ever watch uh butterfly effect? Like as, as Christian, you see how because he he stepping out in the street, he did step in, step in the street. Something could have happened. A chain reaction thing could have happened, or a chain reaction thing geared them all from doing one thing. Same thing with you. Like the Lord programmed it last night for you to to run into us, man. To hear the things that you hear. All this is what happening right now is spiritual, man. If I can say something to you, in order for you to be a Muslim anyway, you got to know this first. Wow. Okay. So it's gonna need no partner. Right, and then and like I say, the greatest thing that you can do now get into the get into the Bible, man. Understanding Bible. Why 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 does every time you see this guy Louis Farrakhan, this guy's quoting the scripture? I thought he was about the Quran though. <laughs> so yeah. guy always quoting the Bible. He's contradicting himself. He always contradicting himself. Who we, what our nationality is, and one time this guy said we were Esau. Now he's saying we Israel. <laughs> This is, the, this is the top. Uh, this is the top. What was the word? He got is uh, this is the top Muslim. This is yeah, yeah, the yeah. Muslim of all Muslims in the world right now. Louis Farrakhan. This guy is saying we Israel right now, man. Contradict itself on every every level, man. When you listen to him, like, what are they talking about? Contradiction. They watch us, man. Real. He learned it up from me. These different. Uh, uh, T.D. Jakes, on he, them cats watch us, man. They know that the Lord, the Lord dealing with the prophets in these last days. These young, these young, mid-aged men, older men, it's only how is and by way teaching. Because we all, we ain't just in, we ain't just in, we ain't just in, uh, in, in, in Wallace, man. We ain't in every 50 states. We in other countries. We got brothers in Japan, Africa, South Africa, Germany, Holland, Germany, Holland London, you, you, man. That's for a reason. For these last days, you know. Like I say, any 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 real man, and like I say, any real man, like I say, brother, I, I can I can tell that you are you you're a thinker. So with that being said, you gotta you gotta go study, bro. Go study. Go find the origin of the thing. The thing that you saying that you is, you gotta go find the origin to any any and everything. You know. I have a lot of time. You got to and Farrakhan knew who he is, bro. He just set up not to tell us, man. He, you know, but he can't. He gotta. It gotta be. You know. It gotta be. A yeah. He gotta. He he can only go so far, man. But he know. He know he lives for life, man. Yeah. yeah. If he won't live, he saw what happened to Mal. Well, he he became the head of the nation of Islam for for assassinating Mal. It's something to do with assassinating. Abu Bibbins told him what was up. Abu Bibbins. Abu Bibbins is our our elder. You know, he passed away because a bunch of Muslims beat him up back in, uh, I think, Harlem or whatever. But he told Malcolm X the truth, though. He told Malcolm X what the deal was, man. And Malcolm X 
Huh? What are you talking about? Like, basically, like, what you, 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 I showed y'all the way I did. Did I not show y'all the video where Ruff Abernathy said, "Oh, I move out the way for the sniper to have a clear shot." Yeah, yeah I knew they was even. This is Jackson. This Jackson was, was paying a million dollars back then. Mm -hmm. he said, "Shoot the one that don't have a tire." Mm -hmm. All the time had turtlenecks on that day. All the one had was two tires. Uh, uh, Malcolm X yeah. or uh, Martin yeah. King. Yeah. Yeah. Rains up. Who killed? Who killed? Uh, Malcolm X. It's on, it's on, it's on. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Exposed. That's yeah. He's been exposed. Yeah, of course, shit. He came back exposed, but he was just he gonna keep all along with it. Yeah, he cheated, so. Yeah, yeah. Because, see, remember when, um, what's the guy's name? The guy was over there back then? The older man. In my what happened? What happened when these guys started getting international? Remember, remember, uh, Malcolm Mix speaking on international, uh, it was an in uh, international event back then. He spoke on it. He called a white man. A, he called a, he called uh, the white people something on the news, man. He got pissed off with him. Oh, God, what happened? Don't tip my tongue. <laughs> 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 exactly what said, you know. I see, cause I read, I read the news from front to back. I'm trying to bang. Yeah, he got on the he got on the news and he called. It was an interview he did. He, you know, he talked. You know, he said something that uh, Elijah Muhammad got real pissed off with him and shit, though. Know? But like I said, that, that dude was that dude was my brother or some shit like that. I didn't say it like that. It was something. It was something controversial that he said. He, he, got, it's, he got suspended and shit for a while. Yeah, I was, he, he, he thought something. Right, right, right when he came back, that's when everything started happening. Right, right when he came back, so when he got suspended, he was. He was chilling. He messed up. He was chilling. They told him he couldn't sleep when he go. Uh, hey, drunk. Saturday they got plenty of time. Man. Yeah, they told him he couldn't do no more. Uh, couldn't do no more time. Uh, right. But yeah, them, all them guys. All them guys were no more than agents, man. Them guys were set up by the government. Even Martin King went to uh, seminary school to learn the civil rights movement. You got to go watch the movie The Butler to show you that. The movie Butler show you how they were set up. Go to school and, and get taught. How to be. That's why the niggas went in, went into the, the bodegas and the, and the restaurants for whites and got beat the shit out of. Got dogs bit on them and sprayed with water. That shit was all set up, bro. No, it was all it was all set up, man. All of them, most of these most of these so-called black leaders are masons. They're paid off by the following security charters, all right. And they they're told what to do, man. The so-called white man has a receipt for them niggas, man. And why they never these, these church pastors they never tell you to tell you what we tell you, man. Never. They'll never tell you that, man. Because they're gonna fuck up their money. No? Follow us a C3. Yeah. And all of them, all of them, uh E.D. Du Bois, Frederick Douglass, uh what's this guy name? Henry McKinney. That's the guy that set up, that's the guy that set up uh, the boule. All them cats are sold out, man. Most of these, most of these guys you see on TV. Anybody, anytime you see somebody on the TV on the medium, they so they really kind of sold out, man. They're talking heads. They're told, they're told what to do. You know. Hey, so you should like one of these sold out too. Exactly. I think he sold out. I think he sold out. Big, big horn frog head nigga sold out, man. I, sold out. That nigga sold out. Bro. I lived in Houston for eleven years. I know who Corner Eggs is. I think he sold out too. Yes, indeed, Lord. He get niggas to turn himself in. They go do a shooting or killing. I make scene one. Oh, she sold out. Oh no. I'm trying to say I don't see how she live that long. Like Maxine Waters or uh uh she wanna get Sheila Jackson. Sheila Jackson Lee, all the fuck them sold out. They sold out, man. That's why that's why they go up there. You watch it, watch it. Give me the one in uh what the one in the Amos to teach it with their hands. Some proverbs. <laughs> Or six, round eleven, or something like that. Yeah, that's why they, that's why they put their hands in the best for Pisces. You ever seen them put their hands, hands like this? All they, all they had. It's like two ball things they do. Yeah, when you, you see a nigga put his hand right here or hand on the chest, all right. Like, mm -hmm. like, so they do like this, they do this, that, that's, that's it. Yeah. 
Sleep on him. That means keep sending me my money. I'm lying to him. Go ahead. It's uh, Proverbs 6, verse uh, 13. He that wake up with his eyes and speak up with his feet and teach up with his fingers, for forwardness is in his heart. He divides a mischief continually. He saw of discord. So they teach you with their feet. They, they stand like this perfectly on the square. They teach you with their hands. They, they do they do shit like this and let you know I'm a, I'm another I'm another person, man. I'm another okay. travel man. And we know about this shit, bro. Okay. Shit, bro. You know, we know about all that shit, man. We know about all these all these catchers. Sold the goddamn out, man. So if you try to have some tools, see if we can kill it. Oh yeah. Probably so. Right, you think he's gonna sell that too? Oh, they, I don't think. Oh, but see, he, what well, he, what well, he was doing, fucking up. He was fucking up the FDA money with. He's fucking up that money by uh, alkalinity, like hearing people for, and then they were high as a motherfucker too. I ain't going Yeah, that they were high as a motherfucker, man. Yeah, so when it comes to healing people and using the word that that C word, because you know the, the FDA has a seven billion dollar patent on that word. The word cure. And he was doing that, they had to take him out. All these cats. I do had a dude back in 1996 by the name of Don Gray. He uh he cured HIV. And guess what happened? In the parking garage, they put they put a, they put two holes in his head, man. Because that, if, at the end of the day, when you go to CBS, you go to Walgreens and Ballas, Tarnall, and Advil, you putting Ferraris and different how you getting these guys' houses built. They want to keep you sick, patch up the bullshit, man. They're not trying to, they're not trying to. Fix the goddamn thing. You see what time it is? We got a couple more. We got a couple more, bro. First one, do I? Right? Yeah, because we just I mean, we we're gonna just, never stop. Right? <laughs> like, you know? All right, we gotta we gotta go to camp, brother. But we gonna give you a card yeah, and you everything. Can, you know, unless you wanna come to camp. Yeah. Right and you know, if you ain't got nothing to do, we about to go down now on Bourbon and Canal. Right. And that's yeah, what we we'll teach. Yeah. That's what we teach. It's just. This was a pre camp lesson, like this when we go there, you know what I'm saying? Give, you, uh, give him the card. Oh, well, give him the give him the card. No, give him the card and I got nothing. You know what? You know what? Whatever 21 downtown Houston on, on Main at? 21 downtown Main Street. Yeah, Main like Main, Main Street, but I don't know what it's like Main and McKinney. Well, not Main and McKinney, I gotta come back. Main and Will, Main and Ah, oh, I got the brothers going. You got main, you got main, you got main, you got main and McKinney. You come back to where he's twenty one at. What's the million was that? Wow, I don't be out of time like that. <laughs> I don't be out of time like that, man. That's what I never know. Like, I ain't. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope that I'm not going out of time like that. This was still something. I don't even be doing none of that, baby. Like, I don't do that. Okay. Like, I could give you. I could give you the address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah, it was that was eventful, man. You know, the law had to go the way it went through the spirit, you know, and we and we of course we obey the spirit, man. You know, we don't try to uh, obey our own thirst and nothing like that. We follow through the spirit of Yahweh while Yahweh shot, man, which we're led of and we believe and trust that man. You know, we don't we don't put emphasis on ourselves, like we don't get no notification for which we teaching you. We just we out here to tell. Every man the right way, man. Now, if he choose to take whatever route he wants, then it's consequences for what you, <laughs> you know, whatever route you want to take. But we gonna say this, bro. You're an Israelite, bro. You heard right. the word, Yashala. Gotta get marked, man. Yeah, you getting you marked, man. So you might want, like you say, you find out the truth. And really, the Lord allow you to find out the truth. Contrary, probably we might don't look like it, but this the truth right here. <laughs> this the truth. And, and which, at least, you know, to who you are in a congregation in the tabernacle of the Lord, bro, like, this is the truth. I know someone look like, oh, they ain't in a church or they ain't that, you know, like, nah, the Lord ain't dealing that way when you read the scriptures. All right? The Lord, the Lord said, you're going to find, you're going to find wisdom on a chief place on the, in the church's concourse. Right? Yep. That's the gate. You know, the scripture says, you, your eyes shall see your teacher. Right? Okay. And then, guess what? We was in a casino building. We was in the, it was, it was in that building right there. You walk past, you want to know. Never, never heard of Sardis. Yeah. No? Yeah, but that's what it is, bro. You know, we don't go get the camp, you know, but they, you know, through the spirit, the Lord, you know, the Lord have it to what we're going right now. 
Or not, we bought a wealth free down. You, you follow us if you want or whatever. Well, yeah, go ahead. What you got? Isaiah 26 and 4 and 5. Uh, trust in you, the Lord, forever. For the Lord, Yahweh, is an everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwelleth on high, the lofty city, he layeth the low, and he layeth the low, even into the ground. He bringeth even into the dust. Right. Thank you, the Lord is the Lord. The Lord is faith in Yahweh, and his son named Yahweh Shah. As long as we have faith in that name, he, we can go and deliver us. What, once the destruction comes to this whole, this whole place out here, you know what I'm saying? With our, all, all that fire and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? We're teaching early. Understand. Yeah, you might want you might just want to come to camp. You're gonna hear another ear full of, of, of things to come, man. Because like I said, what's gonna happen here in America, all right, with, with this market of beast, FEMA camps, they're gonna they're gonna put they put put trained armed killers on these streets and, and putting so-called Americans in concentration camps. Man. I heard my father showing the video earlier about uh Biden was talking about another two hundred on the speed, you know, speed. I was like, give them a little more. I was like, basically put more firepower on, on the opposite space. Like, yeah. Instead of walking around, just yeah, could you, do some speed type stuff. What well, they already did, you know. If you if you see the if you see the, the y'all brothers, remember the police in Ferguson? When, when Michael Brown died, when Michael Brown died, how they look? Look like the military. Yeah, he did. Bitch with level four vests on, AR 15s and shit, man. Helmets. Military helmets, man. That's for a reason. That is the key, man. Yeah, that's what they're doing now, man. They ran in the house. Yeah, go ahead, huh? Right? We're never, we're never, we're never, we're never gonna never stop, by right? But, you know, you know, law willing, hey, you know, brothers behind it, you know, camera, you know, common board and different things, and through the spirit, the law had things go the way it went, you know, edification of the, you know, the body, man, the camera, man, no, no, man, in the same. You know, position or whatever, whoever in, but ultimately the Lord, the Lord is the one with the spirit, man. You know, but we gonna go ahead and get the camp, man. So, Lord willing, that was that a fine. We gonna give infinite honors and prayers to y'all. To the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the argument that's pushing the truth and sincerity. To the next time, we gonna say shalom. Shalom.